<laughs> Seriously? And you Oh my god. Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Beratu, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. My king, would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Give me strength. For forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can you do? There is a way out through the catacomb. I think I should trust you? You have no choice. I've got you!
Help me with this. Follow me. There is a way out through the tomb. Tomb? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. Just a rat. All this death, for nothing. They died in vain, for a mad king. cursed by our own actions. Why did your king raid the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. Here, help me with this. <laughs> you first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy... ...is a friend. We help each other. Always hope. What was that? How many ways into this tomb? We're not alone down here. Over here.
coming. I know. A guardian. There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No. If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. They could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. 
Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. And you here? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. And you are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Cold check. First lieutenant, cold check. Well, the briefing room? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, right, Rachel. Are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Come on. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. To excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here, <laughs> chowing down on candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> We got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. I see you, old man. You're busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach with there, too. Later. We have company. Yeah, well, maybe Miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? You gonna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant Kane. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So, what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? 
So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King, and if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. <laughs> shit me, right? Crap, he's not shit me. Give the Colonel full sight access. Sir. If I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, hotshot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Shut up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. What is this place, anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess Shadam liked to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. 
got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds can bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. This feel right to you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. This is it. Everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. But you got in that box of tricks anyway. The fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you.
what I think it is. WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke, that's all. These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Yeah. I am. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. Now you want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need him. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. 
What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? Zane, and a gate. Zane? Quays. Quays, are we? Zane? Oh, I'll be a Zane, Tanny. Ah, but... Hello, I'm Salim. Salim? Salim Garkun. Abu Zain. Of course. Did you hear it? Yes, I heard it. He's Zain with... With... He's Zain with your father. Tariq. Yes, Tariq. They're together. They're together. لا لا كله تمام اصل كان عيد ميلاده وانا جبت له هديه. هديه كويسه. اه لما يرجع ابعتهولي حالا. ما اقدرش اقول امتى هيجوا، انت عارف الولاد. اي وقت. ابعتهولي لو سمحتي. Oh. 
كابتن بصري اهلا يا مولاي لازم نتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك؟ العدو جاي يا سلام العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو؟ يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السل العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم؟ مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا ما اقدرش اعمل ده يا فندم ابني محتاجني ده امر يا جندي مش طلب ده واجب عليك فهمت هرجع البيت قريب خلاص يا دار دي اخر مهمة Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that. All right, that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Damn right. <laughs> hey, the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant Kenny, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four-hour intervals. <laughs> Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. It's what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're going to succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! Hoorah!
boy. How the fuck did she have to go do that? <laughs> American, the Asakir, the American gob. Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. Ben out and hold fire. We're gonna psyops this shit. Ehna the American. Ehna the Jewish American. is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LC and bring in the Colonel. This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy. They're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, set rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Form is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one? What does that mean, Lieutenant? We have yet to carry out a full search. We'll find it, sir. You took a risk giving up the element of surprise, Lieutenant. But it looks like it paid off. No casualties and clean work. Thank you, sir. Nonetheless, any hold on Iraqis might now be on high alert. My team's ready for anything, Colonel. That went smoothly. You think? Got the place locked down tighter than the birds. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل مخزن السلاح I'll make him talk Stand by I've got this هسألك مرة ثانية فين مكان المخزن؟ The hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. إيه ده؟ هتعرفوا قريب. enough of this. Corporal, keep an eye on the captives. You heard him, Marine.
Tell me where the silo is. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. دي بندقية كبيرة قوية أكثر من اللي أنت محتاجه للغنم فين مدخل المخزن؟ Stand down, Lieutenant. The only language these people understand. I've got this under control. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. I'm going to go now, and then I'll talk. Keep a firm eye on this one. shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo. Where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. This precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. Gas masks here. أنا بشخص الحكومة الأمريكية. أنت في موقف صعب جدا. مهم إنك تقول الحقيقة. مدخل المخزن That's heroin. It just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. Stay back! 
to leave my home, right? What is your orders, Marine? That ain't an option we got anymore. Oh, bullshit! I'm gonna flank him. Give me some cover and get Joey out of there. Nick. Bullshit. Ah. I know you're hurting, but you're not fucking dying. <coughs> well, still, calm down. Your flesh when it's a paper cut. Just hold still. I... Say a prayer, mother. This is dropkick. Silence lifted. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Dropkick, this is Killjoy 2. We are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LZ. <sighs> this getting worse? Down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. Fuck! Doesn't anyone speak English anymore? You better not miss.
Jason! Jason! I'm close, man! I'm coming! That's something. Where on God's green earth have we landed? We need to get back topside, regroup with the rest of the squad, and signal for medivac. This place ain't no weapon silo, but it's sure as fuck crawling with Iraqis. Nick? Sergeant Kate, pull yourself together. Eyes wide. I saw something. What do you mean, saw something? I mean, it wasn't human. In a tunnel. <sighs> Should have never gotten up that helo. I fucking knew it. I knew you weren't ready for this. I swear to God, do not get God involved in this bullshit. Now, I don't want to hear another fucking word. You pull your shit together right fucking now before you get us both killed. You gotta believe me. No, you believe this, Sergeant. You didn't see shit. We need to get out of here right now. You ever seen anything like this? What the hell is this place? Bass. I flunked history at school. You don't feel it. What, Nick? Feel what exactly? I don't know, some. I don't feel shit. Heavier than it looks. Give me a hand. I'm gonna need some more muscle. I'm just giving Jim again. <clears throat> That's Merle. <clears throat> Jesus, I'm <clears throat> trying. Will you stop squirming around? He's <clears throat> fast. He's bleeding out. We have to cut him down right now. Hold tight, buddy. We got you. <clears throat> Nick, I need you here. Cut the wires. Oh, I fucked. He's so fucked. You don't think I can hear you? You're gonna pull through, brother. Suck it up. There's no feet in my back. Grab it. We're gonna pump you up, okay? 
Uh, hurry the hell up! We got this. We keep lookout. Fuck! Uh. Look out for what? Jesus, who the hell loaded these packs? Uh, 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 <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Clarice? أنا الملازم سليم عثمان بكل الجنود أنتوا فين؟ حول أنت فين؟ تعال ماشي كابتن دار هذا تسمعني؟ عد الرسالة حول كابتن زفت بدك تسمعني أنا مش عارف في 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 كهف بحاول أخرج حول أخس يمكن آه. عندي مشاريع النهاردة أستحمى أسمع موسيقى احتفل عيد ميلاد ابني بس لا دق على باب انا لا لما كان جايين لما كان جايين بص احنا فين دلوقتي هم انا عارف انا فين في حد موجود هنا في حد هناك
have the other's money. How will? شوف ده مين <تصفيق> هناك؟ place is about to come down. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm good. Did you see Sergeant K? Cold check? Last I saw, they were together. I tried. Something's interfering with the signal. That could be another way out. I don't know. You know I've got your back, Rach. Stay close, you'll be fine. I'm pretty good at looking after myself, Eric. It would seem so. <clears throat> Carabiners, quick draws, rope, light. Shit. Okay. All good? All good. Let's do it. That's a steep drop to nowhere. We've got rope. Hey, look. There's an airflow. I say we climb. So when did you start smoking? Excuse me? The lighter. Uh, it's nothing. Just something I picked up back at base.
You ready? Are you? This place doesn't look much like a weapon silo to me. If there's nothing down here, then why were we attacked? There's a war on. People tend to shoot each other. I guess we could classify this as quality time. You and I always did have a different view on quality time. Remind you of old times, Rich? You mean the sense of feeling lost? Ancient. But that's cuneiform. Sumerian, maybe? What is this place? You're quite the expert on history. Didn't realize. Maybe you don't know me as well as you think. seems stable. Yeah, it looks fine. What do you think this place is? Hard to say. These carvings look religious. I think we may be in a temple. It's Pazuzu. Pazuzu who? Pazuzu. Do you not watch horror movies? You should know the answer to that. It's a Sumerian demon. Something to do with plagues, I think. Plagues and demons, huh? Great. Unbelievable. I was not expecting this at all. Yeah, you and me both. Great, that's all we need.
What is it? You didn't hear that? I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard something down there. Even in ruins, this place is still something special. I wonder what happened here. That's gunfire. Where's it coming from? We should move. Can you make anything out? That's uh, it's deep. That looks safe to you? It's our only option. Get the rope. We're going down. Unbelievable. We're not the first ones here. Damn it. All this crap must be what Kayla's detected. I'm sorry, Eric. For real. You put everything into this research. More than you'll ever know. You can't blame yourself. I've messed up. Should have triple checked the data. Exhausted every possibility. But I'm so sure this was it. I understand what it meant to you, Eric. I'm so sorry. You've both made mistakes. The hell is that? Subsidence? From the aftershocks? This looks like archaeological gear. Somebody was studying this ruin. Hey, we could use those lamps. The light could guide the Marines to us. Do you think that still works? <laughs> It'll work. Just needs gas. We need to find some. Wherever you are, Nick, I hope you're safe. Sorry? Did you say something? Fuck, that's a hell of a lot of fireworks. All call signs, this is King. Does anyone copy? Over. This is king to all call signs. Are you receiving? Over. I'm beginning to think that even the Iraqis don't know about this place. I don't understand how I could have been so wrong. Mentions echolocation. Is this something to do with bats? What is it? Symptoms? Characteristics, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. We need to get these lights running ASAP. I can't see shit. You regretting not calling for additional air support yet? 
Well, there you go, reading my mind again. What do you think the rest of the squad are doing? They're tough. Each and every one of them. They'll muscle through. Maybe climbing out of the cavern back there would have been the smarter move. Uh, the way I see it, if these people were here before us, there must be another way out. Locals were spooked by these mountains. <laughs> Can't say I blame them. How can something this vast have remained hidden for so long? Why would they do that? Look at this place. It doesn't add up. See how quickly this door has been blocked off? There's something desperate about it. I wonder who they're trying to keep out. There's a shitload more dynamite here. The hell would they need so much for? I'll take that, thank you. Eric, come give me a hand with these cans. Uh, tell me I had a little luck. How's the lake holding up? Lake? Oh, you mean the prosthesis. I lost my leg back on the highway. Don't. I still feel guilty. I didn't make it easy on you, Rage. I know that. You weren't to blame for that crash. Come on. Let's get to work. Shine a light on the tank. Ah, oh, shit. 
What's wrong? Fuel tube's worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. Can it be fixed? We have to secure the tube before starting the generator. There's gotta be something here to fix it. You got it? I've got it. Once you said back at the base, you were wrong. It doesn't sound like me. You said nothing had changed between us. But I've changed. All that time spent away from each other. I couldn't stop thinking of you. Don't you feel the same way? Even a little? I missed you too, Eric. How could I not? You've been through so much. Hold the fuel pipe. It's done. Give me a hand with this panel. Look at the state of these. They're shot. Feels like so long since we worked on something together. Same time feels like yesterday. Why do we leave things like this? tried, but you made it so hard for me to stay. We should have stuck together. I don't think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long. Past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis, and I was blind to anything else. Your work is bigger than the both of us. I don't think either of us could have foreseen the impact it would have. Rach. Say what's on your mind. I've missed you, Rach. Like you wouldn't believe. Back then, I don't know, things seemed confused, but now, it just seems simpler. It's the past, Eric. We have to put it behind us and look towards the future. Otherwise, we're just going around in circles. I'm happy to look to that future. That should do the trick. Let's fire her up. There's a way in for these people. There's a way out for us. Let's take a look around.
Eric, check this out. Why would there be a machine gun here? It's a World War II model. Ties in with the time the archaeologists were here. What the fuck happened here? Who could they have been up against? They've been cataloging these pieces somewhere. September the 24th, 1945. When Lady Bradshaw summons you, you go. Mary and I were bound for our honeymoon, but the chance to dine with one of Britain's finest antiquarians was too great for us to miss. When we met, Bradshaw wore a brooch that caught Mary's eye. A Sumerian relic recovered from a dig site in the Hashemite Kingdom of Iraq. After dinner, she showed us another find from the same site, a gold cuneiform tablet. She called it the final puzzle piece in her life's work, a map that pinpoints the tomb of Alexander the Great. If she's right, the tomb lies somewhere on the border of Iraq. Lady Bradshaw wants us to lead her expedition. I realize now that our honeymoon will take place in a dusty dig site in the Sagros Mountains. This place is starting to make me feel a little uneasy. What happened to these guys? Eric, take a look at this. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? The tape is all tangled up. It's fine, I can fix that. It's 
So when did you stop wearing your wedding ring? When did you stop wearing yours? I didn't. Always close to my heart. You're always a good guy. Maybe too good for me. I haven't forgotten what this ring means to me. I want you back, Rachel. You need to look over. Someone else now. I knew it. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world. Unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken. But I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity. For all mankind. Mary. I am sorry. not supposed to play out like this. Any call signs? This is King. Contact, contact. Taking fire. Just have to be over. That's Rachel. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. Say it again. Over. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. How copy? Over. this goddamn place. You're not serious. That looks decades old. That's all we have. Can you see him? Yeah, he's coming.
Rachel, grab onto something! I can't see! It's too dark! Come on! Fuck! Damn it, Rachel, will you hold still? nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? Poor Rachel has been lost to the darkness. Bonds that were once thought unbreakable have now been cut free. The heart is always the first to fall. And there are always unexpected casualties with any separation. What of Jason and Nick? Brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? Which brings us to Salim. He seems level-headed, an almost reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors, trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. One by one, their lights will be snuffed out, unless you can find the means to save them. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. A prudent choice, all things considered. Long ago, I met a blind poet who impressed upon me these wise words. Long is the way and hard, and out of hell leads up to light. That's all for now. Corporal, but right now, we stay tight. Colonel, is that you? What happened to Rachel? We, we were ambushed by the enemy. The open fire on us. Rich. She fell. I, I held on. <laughs> as hard as I could, I swear. She was taking me down with her. I had to. I had to cut the rope. Rachel! They're coming for us. They're coming. We gotta move. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. We 
need to fall back. Now. Over there. Let's go. Oh. Look at that. Slow down. You can still be here. Right now, Colonel, the Iraqis are the least of our problems. They're not following. This is Mailman 21 Actual to all call signs. How copy? Over. Joey, report in. Over. Joey's dead. The fuck you talking about? The Iraqis tore right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Oh no, not Joy. The hell are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. Lieutenant, what did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? You believe in God? Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in those there. Monsters. Monsters? Come on, you're jumping at shadows. Sir, with all due respect... Lieutenant! We're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi, maybe more. Whatever you... I think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick, take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. This mission's a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. Oh, fuck your satellite. Good men have died. Clarice is gone, your wife. He's dead, Eric. You led us on a suicide mission. Hey, I'm still in command here. You'd better remember your rank, Lieutenant. I'll get us out of here. You got us into this mess. You better get us out. You want to repeat that? That's what I thought. Keep an eye on Merwin. We'll go check it out. So this is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. So much for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. There's the generator. Let's go take a look. I need a hand here. I'm on it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. Ah, shit. Stop fucking around. Hurry up. Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. Stay alert. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. We're heading deeper. Over. Acknowledged. You be careful in there. Dropkick down. Cable split. Let's see where they lead to.
This way. Fuck. Watch your step. There's a tripwire. Clear. It looks simple enough. Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. Gotta be the guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Do you copy? Over. Dropkick receiving. How's it going out there, Kolchak? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. You'll want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Dropkick out. <laughs> he's moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire. October the 21st, 1946. Crow was the first to break into the tomb, an honor he shared with Bessie, that damned machine gun of his. It was a beast of a weapon, but it seemed to comfort the fellaheen doing the digging. This place has lain undisturbed for centuries. It is not the tomb of Alexander the Great, but a temple of an even older god king, the Akkadian despot, Naram Sin. We have been mistaken, but Lady Bradshaw still declares it a find for the ages, a discovery that will write our names in the annals of history. Looking out at this sceptered hall, I have no reason to doubt her. Be waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. Is that Joey? He's alive. It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. It's a trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. Gonna rescue him. Let me remind you that I make the decisions. I'll lead the way. Gold check. You guard Merwin. Sergeant K and I will go ahead.
Not happening, Colonel. Nick and I are doing this alone. You realize the consequences of this, Kolchak? I got bigger things to worry about. Yeah, he's right, Colonel. You should stay put. Well, fuck you, too. لازم اقول له لا اتخانق لوحدك مش هتخانق معاك لازم يكون في طريقه تانيه من هنا لازم يكون في طريقه تانيه
Andromeda. لازم زي بيكون للشمس بس في حاجة ضايعة منه Still here, Joey? This is Mailman 21 Actual. Joey, do you hear me? How copy? Over. It's Joey's. He's in bad shape. We gotta move fast. Check your weapons. Don't leave anything to chance. How deep is that damn hole? This is fresh. That's solid fucking rock. You think these things got through it? I don't really want to stick around and find out. He's hit bad. Not much we can be sure of. Something really fucking nasty went down here. Seventh of December, 1946. Our finds have been so spectacular, I couldn't resist breaking out the champagne. As I entered the survey tent to pour a glass for Mary, I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risks of using explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course. I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. What the hell did they find down there? You know what we're facing now. Eyes wide, stay frosty. You may not be alone. Joe, is that you? He's 
Slow it down. Somewhere right here. Three to mailman two one actual. Come in, Lieutenant. Over. This is mailman three to mailman two one actual. Come in, Lieutenant. Over. No. They burn in sunlight. Like any living being, they can be killed. Stake through the heart. Your bullets will only slow them down. Even a truck falling on them just makes them angry. We do this together. Okay. We can kill it. You move into a flanking position and get its attention. I will do the rest. I'm ready. Let's do it.
I've seen ugly in my life, but never that ugly. What the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. What do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? I don't know what they are. I, I shouldn't be here. I should be home with my son. I hear you. Family's everything. I should have never come here. It's his birthday today. Oh, man. You really shouldn't be here. How? Old enough to think he's a man. And he's only still a boy. He just turned 18. Whoa. <laughs> Big day. Big day. Let me tell you. Best present you can give him is to make sure you get home today. the only thing keeping me going. Well, if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K, Sergeant. Selimos, man. Lieutenant. Hierarchy on me. Shukran, yachuya. Solid copy, LT. I see your light. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. I'm coming to get you. Your friends better not do anything dumb. I said, you gotta trust me. They won't hurt you. Stop pointing your guns at me! All right, everyone, take a fucking second. He's not hostile. I don't want to hurt you. Your uniform tells me something different. Drop your fucking weapon, do it now! No, you lower yours first. Drop your weapon before I fucking drop you! You pull that trigger and I swear to Alibaba and the 40 Thieves is the last fucking thing you'll do! I didn't come this far to die by a trigger. Happy American! Okay, enough. There's no point in fighting. Not anymore. I ought to put one through your fucking skull. It won't change anything. I'd still be in this hell. Don't tempt me. We're heading back to the temple. Tie him up. If he tries anything, put him down. After all we've been through? Thanks a lot. Hey, you two boys do this together? Of course we did. We fought it together and we won. Jason, we need to talk about this guy. Not now. This plan's a bust. Whatever the hell happened to Joey, he's gone. And there are fuck knows how many of those things out there. I say we pull back to the temple and regroup. I think that's the best plan I heard all day. Suit yourself.
want you to tell me everything you know about these creatures. Have you seen them before? Do you know where they came from? How many are there down here? I hope you are a believer, brother. When those things come back, you're going to need higher power to pray to. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. I will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. down long enough to spot them on the cameras we should reset that chirp wire give me a hand we've been in some fucked up situations before Never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. You know how I always got your back, buddy. Come what may. Something else. You don't think? I wonder how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Why are you defending the enemy, Sergeant? You and me both know they're not all our enemies. Fuck, Jason. It's about the girl at the checkpoint. Shit, Nick. How many times? We thought she had a bomb. It was just a bag of groceries. We fucked up. That girl's death is getting under your skin, buddy. Yes. As a matter of fact, it is. Isn't it getting under yours? Mailman 2 1 actual, this is dropkick. Request update, over. 2 1 actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished, over. Good work, Lieutenant. Treat through the eastern corridor and be on your guard, over. I hear you, over and out. Approximation, the creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, wing. Wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs and to the digits of its hands. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath it is diseased almost. The creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Dropkick, this is Mailman 2-1 Actual, approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before. 
They could come again. This have been to hell. Do to deserve that. Killed by a stake through the heart. <laughs> Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? Who? Maybe you should hold on to that. Sharp mistake, right? Looks like he's been drained dry. It's gotta be one of those explorers. Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. That's gonna get us out of here. It's beautiful. Check out the carvings on it. Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Perfect. 
looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming. I can hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man, I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells us straight? Everyone just makes up bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? We fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? Been three weeks. It's armed. Dropkick, this is Mailman 2-1 Actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise, over. Back now and secure the perimeter. Drop kick out. Mount a camera here, and let's head back. You've outdone yourself this time, puppy dog. Nick? Jason? anything good.
is that light? Creature has powerful claws and fangs formed from hardened and identifiable tissue. Two of the incisors appear grossly malformed and discolored, oddly out of place. The membrane surrounding the specimen seems to originate from its mouth. Blood is like nothing I've seen. I'll now perform a UV sweep to further inspect the fluids. Hey, some advice? You had your chance to talk. Yes, but the demon does not react well to sunlight. I would be very careful with that light. I said be quiet. Oh, boy. Don't move! Cool check, is that you?
looks like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. No, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Just as well. Don't feel much like climbing out there. <laughs> We have to hurry. It's not safe here. that you could fight yeah me either what was that thing i don't know whatever it is it's not alone where have you been one of those things got its dirty hands on me dragged me down here left me for dead fuck fuck doesn't even start to cut it i'm lucky to have gotten away you're talking to a scientist there's no such thing as luck you should be thankful i was there to help you I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? Looks painful. Yeah. Uh, it is. Think you can keep still? I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm a little glad too. I saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. Those people must have been in the valley a long time. <coughs> There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were going to say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. <laughs> Something funny you want to share? This place is fucked. We are so fucked, we don't stand a chance. You keep that to yourself. I'm going to get through this, and if you want to, you better try and keep up.
You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. Until it does. God, you, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's gotta be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. <sighs> Give me the silent treatment, huh? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Something to get our minds off this place. Okay. So why did you become a physicist? I mean, you don't... I don't look the type? Well, you don't. Oh, should I be wearing nerd clothes? That's not what I meant. You just don't strike me as one. Science was the furthest thing from what everybody thought I'd do. Something just for me. I know a little something about that. You do? It's not easy being queen bitch. You think I got where I am with a soft word and a warm smile? And here's me thinking you Langley types grew up on Easy Street. <laughs> easy Street? I had to graft to get here. You think it bothers me what people call me? I wear that shit like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. Yeah? And where is that exactly? Looks like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. <laughs> you and I, we're not so different. You know, both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. No shame in that. No shame. <coughs> What did that thing do to you? Please! Please don't leave me down here alone! It's okay. I'm here. did that thing do to you? There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move. Now! <sighs> Give me your hand. side of the chasm. We'll never make it. <laughs> Don't quit on me now. <sighs> we have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Wait! Do you really believe those medicines will help me? Keep it together, Clarice. We're almost there. You didn't answer my question. Where I see it, it's your only hope. We can do this.
You okay? <coughs> that answer your question? We need to get you to the temple. Sounds like they're having way more fun down there than we are up here. Over. As long as they keep the party to themselves, I'm happy. We got nothing on the cameras inside. Over. Eyes alive. for now if they hit us my best hunch is it'll be from the chasm if you feeling optimistic lieutenant i tell you colonel could lose his own ass if it wasn't pinned on him <laughs> you see our absent friend down there Salim? no he's gone we're facing an enemy we know zero about an enemy of unknown size on their home turf sucks to be us I don't know how long those doors can hold them back. Radio's our best shot. Fix it up, call in the cavalry, even shit up a bit. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. Damn it. Barricade allowed close air support. Those birds could have picked up the signal. Trust our price to fuck you in the ass.
30th of December. Mary's condition worsens. This evening, I awoke from an exhausted daze to find Lady Bradshaw asking my wife more of her damned questions. Mary was babbling something about winged demons. At this, Bradshaw's eyes lit up and she asked whether Mary could sense them now. Gripped by delirium, my wife lashed out, clawing at Bradshaw's chest. Lady Bradshaw withdrew, and I was, after a while, able to calm my wife. They set up a fake dig site to draw off grave robbers. They knew whatever was down here it was pretty special. I'm gonna need a hand to get this up and running. That thing looks like it was sabotaged. How would they do that? We gotta work with what we have. Hold back if anything moves out here. It's safer inside. Thank you. Good job, Sergeant. Those things will kill you, Sergeant. Yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life right now. Fuck that, I need my lighter. What's good? It's nothing. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghost, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't trust any of you pussies to do it. The fuck, Lazarus? Sit your ass down. Back from the dead, baby. <laughs> Corporal Merwin, probably best you stay here and recover. Oh, and let you have all the fun? Oh, fuck that. Let me break this down to you Barney style. I'm the only one here who's a mechanic. Now that's what you call a no fucking brainer. He's got a point. Lá, 
انت اسمعني دلوقتي يا اما تمشي ورايا يا اما خليك هنا وتعفن اختار الله يلعنك وحيت لنفسك انا هقعد هنا Sunday morning stroll, you know, taking the view. Five and two minutes. Two minutes? You hoping to do it twice? Score one for the lieutenant. Colonel, back inside the temple, man, those cameras. You're a sitting duck out here. Go! One, two, Coyote, two. We are requesting evac. Over. Oh. If anyone's out, if anyone can hear me, we're requesting immediate rescue. Over. Mailman, two, one. This is Rhino, one, five. Say again, over. It's air support. We need immediate evac. We're trapped under the LZ and facing multiple unidentified hostiles. We need to get the fuck out of here. Over. Solid copy, Mailman, two, one. Roger. Wait out.
into the temple! Move! Got any sense? They'll stay back. Shit's about to get real in here. Wait, Rachel. Rachel. <sighs> You're alive. Have any doubt, Marine? Oh, those things take you. Where's Eric? Rach? I'm so sorry. You cut me loose and left me for dead. I had to, or we'd both be dead. You have to understand that. <clears throat> Are we good? Tim, isn't it? I understand you're not the brightest, Nick, but even you must know what I'm talking about. You've been fucking him, haven't you? That's the best you got. Stop it! I know it's him, Rach. I know. You better step off before I start swinging. Colonel or no Colonel. Don't, Nick. I tried waiting, Eric. I really did. I'm sorry. Always loyal. Always loyal, huh? You weren't so loyal when you cut the rope. What the fuck is happening to her? She's infected. She, she's turning into one of those things. Why'd you bring her here? She needs our help. She's beyond help. She help. shouldn't be here. Wait, we got Wait! Step aside, Rachel. It's too late, Rachel. She can't be saved. You can't possibly know that. You're the man. Now step aside. Jason, please, don't do it. It's on you. Get her to the supply tent. Now. Warm. Some advice. Save a board for your friend. All right, go back to the main temple. Fuck 
That's all we need. Is this place mined? It's not mined enough. I ain't out of this fight yet. No, you're not. Come on, let's go. Ideas as a time. Oh, come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait, yes! Okay, we can make for the catacombs. We need to go down. Down? In case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone move to the east gate! One of your better ideas, Reach. Now we're talking.
Listen. Can you hear them? Blast must have cut us off. We should keep moving. Hello again. My friend is not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened up there? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. انتي مش في مكان تحدثي Make a move. I fucking dare you. I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. Mash Ahban, shut up! I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. What do you think, Colonel? Make the call, Colonel. We need their help. They're the enemy, Nikki. We have to help each other. It's the only way. them. We must get this door open. Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Move! Come on, man! Damn it! Help them! I'll cover the corridor. Malhadi. Ayena. Matega Mosara. Come on, Maurice. What's wrong with her? She's one of us. It's all you need to know. <laughs> That's where this conversation ends. You're letting a fox in the hen house. It's not the first time I see someone like that. She will turn, and you know it. We can't give up hope. She's coming with us. For God's sake, she's one of us! Until she's not. I was like, I'm going to go home. I'm
teach you to mess with a Marine. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. All this shit, it's on you. If you people hadn't ambushed us, none of this would have happened. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. Honestly, I'm just glad to see a human face. Me too. Your friend said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That is not always true, but if we both want to live, we must fight as one. A sword and the shield. Too wordy for my liking. But I'm in. One second you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. The following second you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate, the other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. Got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, it's beginning to look like that. First thing you're gonna do when we get out of here. 
called my son. How about you? What'll you do? I'll probably just go for a drink. p.m. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. Seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask, what the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us, we had no choice. Nick, I like him. He was good to me. Circumstance. Any other day, he'd put one between your eyes. What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. <laughs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. I say we get the fuck out of here.
Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60-year-old explosive in your back, be my guest. Those chemical weapons are close, right? Every Wanna hear a joke? Nope. First of January, nineteen forty seven, one AM. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. All around us, they shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. They cannot be allowed out of here. Cabinets. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Now hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left.
that your wife? It's funny how you can know someone for years and never really know them. I had no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? You didn't make it. Works for me. I'm this bad guy to deal with. A time will come when you'll deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets. Place is a jack in the box. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fired up. You're crazy. If those vampires come from anywhere down there, we really want to find them in their own home. What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? One returns to the light, while the other goes out forever. Poor Eric. Bad luck, but then again, Eric cheated death once before back on that highway perhaps death finally caught up with him let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen sergeant k those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale as for jason and salim Sworn enemies who cannot seem to bury the hatchet unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it.
This is me. This is my way of dealing with it, and I'm done trying to explain it to you. Yes, yes, this is my life now, and I'll live it on my terms. Wait, what, what did you just say? Uh, bad time? Yeah, it's a real fucking bad time. I'm just dropping off the files you requested. Not now. I said not now. Well, I, I didn't mean to upset you. It's not you. Seems like out here we're we're all running away from something. I know I am. You were caught up in that mess at the checkpoint. You shot that woman. No, it's okay. You could talk to me. It's just everyone seems to have an opinion on it. I'm dealing with it in my own way. Are you? You got your own problems. And whoever that was, that sounded like a, a gold medal asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, uh, you'll deal with it. Or say the word. And I'll handle it for you. Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you.
All clear. That was too close back there. We're still breathing. We've not all been so lucky. All that matters is you're okay. Do we need to talk? About what? About us. I need to know what's happening with us. If I die tonight, I want to die knowing where I stand with you. We have a future together. Eric was a good man, but he's gone. Rachel. I can't lose you. Not now, not ever. You better stay close then, Maureen. I ain't going nowhere. can't lose you. Not now. Not ever. It's Jason. He's alive. We should go. Let's go find Jason. Some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them or? No need to be a smart ass. Let's move. Safe way back. What the hell was that? What is that? Cocoon? Looks like those things came from here. <laughs> Smells like formaldehyde. Since when did you become a scientist? They don't teach you American science at school. Hodgson. Maybe he's got some intel that could help. That didn't help him. Ah, shit.
Mary Hudson. She's got to be his wife. Her story didn't end so well. Jason. What? I can't end up like this. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal, impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood. We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zane is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. It's a fucking gig. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. Is your conscience clear, Jason? Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I... We were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. There was a woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. Tell me. I ordered... I ordered for her to stop, loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. I, uh, I had to make a call. Nick, 
He shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. Huh. This. This bullshit. I'm not here to honor the dead. The truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? When those towers were hit, I was stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family. Friends. She had her whole life in front of her, and we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. Would you have mine? We go inside there, and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They tried to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Oorah! What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh. So, does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey. Whatever happens out there, I got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. things come from. I think so. The question is, where the hell are they? Stay close. I ain't going nowhere. 
easily over here. What do you make of it? This place could have been down here for thousands of years. God didn't make these creatures. No. It's possible we've got this wrong way around. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe we're intruding on them. Flame, check this out. Sounds like music. That don't sound like any music from where I'm from. Okay, maybe not music, but the, uh, the language. Now you've seen those motherfuckers. They're not exactly the chatty type. We shouldn't underestimate them. Look at this place. Those things are intelligent. This moth is everywhere. Is it just me, or...? alive. Goddamn biblical. Shit! Did, did, did you see that? I think it's still alive. Oh, that's impossible. In this place? Everything's possible. Oh, shit! Fucker's been alive all this time. Just sitting here with half a head. Fluid. Must have preserved his flesh, his brain. What should we do? We can't leave him like this. Well, shit. He's had enough time to get used to it. I'm serious. Oh! The noise will attract the vampires. I'll do it.
sleep. Looks like someone's been avoiding the dentist. No fangs. Can you see? The bone is ruptured where they should be, as though smashed from the inside out. What are you saying? Maybe these things weren't originally vampires. Maybe they got infected. Check this out. They died fighting each other. Like dogs fighting over food.
cover you! Go! Shit, Nikki. You turned up like the fucking cavalry. I thought you were dead. Not my time. <laughs> Good to see you again, ma'am. Take my hand. <sighs> Colonel didn't make it. Glad you're here, man. This place. What is this place? Fuck those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. And one block of composition C4. All in is not enough. We also got this. It's all unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now, fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still pack a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, rah. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, ma'am. We stand together as one. You still got that med kit. Now'd be a good time to use it. Looks like a bitch. I gotta stop the bleed. Looks like our explorer friends were here too. We should search this place before we move out. How confident are you that they'll work? They'll work. I should have said it sooner, but um, I'm sorry about Eric's death. Thank you. It means a lot. Rachel, I just want your hand. It's nothing. I'm just cold. something. Thank you. 
The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. daylight again hmm. daylight and a cold one Rachel yeah I'm sorry for your loss Eric was a good man he was What was in it for him? Is it really all about these tablets? Was formed from chords, musical scales, sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus, the whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. These creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. What happened? Sickness? Madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. So they 
they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. Do something! She's turning into one of them! I'll put her out of her misery. Hold her the fuck down. There's gotta be a way we can't lose her! There's no other way. Hold her down. Remember what happened to your friend Clarice? It won't be pleasant if Rachel turns to. May I suggest something? Fuck, man, just say it! There may be another way. The fluid in the cocoons. Oh, shit, I think I know where you're going with this. What's she talking about? The fluid, it keeps the flesh alive, but it stops the aging. I saw it! A man covered in this fluid, he should have been dead, but he was alive. It kept him alive. If we can get Rachel in there, it could stop this. Are you for real? It could stop her from transforming. The cocoon will keep her safe until we return with help. It's our only hope! back for you. Don't let me die here. There's no way. Is that a promise? Yes, ma'am. Those explorers had the right idea. You need to kill every last one of those things.
swear I'm coming back for you. Seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Rachel's gone. So's the Colonel. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. Shalim, you ready? I am. Okay, then. Let's get loose, kids. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Dick's a detonator. If I don't make it... Nick! Hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep a radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up, you hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? ahead of you. You gotta move fast.
I'm going for it. This is way too easy. What is it? There are too many. He's a dead man. Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! What will warning him do now? There is no way out. Hey, how's it looking up there? Man, hundreds of them. Means you've got the boss to tell me the truth. I'm sorry, Nikki. For this? For what happened at that checkpoint? It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens. Get out.
God said, feels like this whole damn place is coming down. Selene! Selene, come in, man. Are you there? You're wrong. Salim is one of us now. Marines don't leave their own behind. You hear me, Salim? If I help make that, tell my son that I did everything I could. Tell him yourself. I'm coming to get you. Join the fun. Throw that thing at me. I did. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Celine busted through them like it was the last down of the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> Listen up, we're not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that. Best of the best. We will get home.
Earl just didn't know how to stay dead. You still with me, buddy? <laughs> we got two alive. Very fucking ready to go home, Marines here. This is Bailman 21 Actual to Coyote 2. Radio check, over. This is Rhino 15, solid copy. We're five minutes from your position. Where the hell have you guys been? Over. Improvise, adapt, and overcome! We fucking did it! Look. Look around you. <sighs> so quiet. Hello, sunshine. Am I happy to see you? I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. Not again.
Where's the ammo? These are fucking flare. Fuck it. We use what we got. Interesting knowing you.
freely they stood who stood and fell who fell. Not bad. You've guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the darkness. Survival often comes at a great cost, a cost that others sometimes must pay. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. And you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Cool check, Jason. First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You ain't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Salim. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! And Colonel King? What about Colonel fucking King? How did he die? He led us all the way to hell. Hell burned him up. So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Kolchak to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. I am not answering any more questions until I see my son! That's not how we do things around here. You don't have a clue. Jason came back for me. What does that tell you? Down there, this damn war of yours was over. I'd like to talk more about the entities. The vampires. I'm finding it very hard to believe that you killed those things with that. Untie me, and I'll show you how I did it. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They use dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there. Fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all those sake. Y'all fucking burdened. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King. Our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Those two were married, right? In the loosest sense of the word. That's quite the love bite. It's a damn shame is what it is. The Colonel had a lot more to answer for. This comes down to Kalis. It mistook the temple for Saddam's weapon depot. Piece of shit system. I wouldn't say that. It's been a big find for us. We've been lucky. This is your definition of lucky? They left Rachel King at the site. She's been recovered. And the parasite? Extracted. 
Lucky girl. We still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pie. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. No small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. You want to know what it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you?